joining us. Sorry for the yelling, but uh, I don't know how much the microphone is catching here. So we're out, we're going to our bushcraft shelter, and we decided we're going to jump on the bikes. We haven't ridden them in two years. We've been so busy with the channel and uh, canoeing and all that fun stuff, not complaining. We, we have it pretty good. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost like a relearning thing. It's been two years. So uh, we're really enjoying it though. Man, it's nice. Sandra's here too. Hey everybody, thanks for watching <laughs> and joining us today. Hopefully you like this little video. So we're gonna go over to uh, the bushcraft shelter. Uh, we are now allowed to have a campfire. Uh, only after 8 o'clock. So that means uh, we're gonna set up there. Uh, the bugs are in full swing. There's a lot of black flies. We just stopped for a minute and got swarmed. And so we got the bug spray, but we're gonna be sleeping in the tent. I think Sandra prefers that. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot for joining us, folks, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Good, good. Good, good. Hey, Sandra. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, it's warm. I know. We're pretty heavily dressed, as you guys can tell. Um, I like because when you're riding, things get a bit chilly. Uh, but uh, it's supposed to get uh, cold tonight. Mm -hmm. Freezing mark around one degree Celsius. So having the extra gear might not be a bad thing. Not too bad, actually. You know, oh, there's going to be a stump here. And uh, another log. I'm at the stump there. Yep. My tire, my back tire is on it. Yeah, it spun off to the side, I think. Hang on. Yeah, I'm spinning. Good. Okay. Yeah. You want me to drive it down or? I don't know. If I can get past that little thing well. Yeah, you're not, it's not what lined up very well. <laughs> no, I know. Okay, push. Oh, yeah.
Okay. Don't push me, I'm gonna fall. Okay. Coming, I'm coming, freewheeling, no gas. Ah, ah. Well, I gotta go somewhere it's flat for my stand, right? So I'll go here. Hi again, folks. I'll say again, because maybe the maybe the stuff in the helmet can't record it. I'm not <laughs> sure. We'll see when we get here. But thanks a lot for joining us. We're soaked to the bone and yeah. sweat. Ah. I mean, uh, it was good to have the gear while we were riding on the faster roads, but once we hit the trail here, we just, uh, just build up a sweat, just going around these trees. It wasn't that difficult to trail, but... Uh, well, it's a hiking trail. It's yeah. not made for motorbikes. <laughs> yeah, so it required adjustments here and there. There was a lot of black flies. Yeah, um, surprisingly. So that's something we're going to have to deal with. So sorry I'm here with pants I went down, but I got two more pairs of pants underneath it. <laughs> That's probably why I was sweating so much. But anyway, we're, we brought a change of clothes because we kind of knew this could have been a, a possibility. So, we made it. We got some flies. <laughs> we did pick up some bug dope, so we're probably going to be breaking that. Yeah. Thanks a lot for being with us, folks. This is a fun ride. Yeah, my, Two, my face is full of black flies. <laughs> <laughs> Two years since we've gone for a ride. Can't believe it. Uh, anyway, here we are. Hope you guys enjoy. We're going to have a cold beer soon. <laughs> A cool off cold beer. As Sandra would say, earned. Earned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You earned it more than me. You brought my bike in. So. Well, I did help you For a couple a of times, but uh, only one bike fell on the ground. I <laughs> fell. <laughs> when, when you finally got here. Yeah. Yeah. I rode over, my back wheel went over a stump that I didn't see. and. Down it went, but no harm done. Nobody yeah. was hurt. It's all moss. Yeah. It's all moss and stumps. Yeah. yeah. We're putting it away. The reason why we took the plastic sheet away, this is, uh, well, we're almost uh, going to be on our third year of using the shelter, and last spring we had left this here for an extended period of time into the summer, and when we dropped in and came in, it held so much moisture inside that we could see rot starting to build. So actually having it open is going to keep it uh, probably last a bit longer. Yeah. So I don't know how many more years we're going to have with this shelter. This has been, it's been awesome. Yeah. It's been really great we're to have our own little camping spot. We have to build another one. Yeah. But we're going to keep using it as long as we can. Yep. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. just, just to give you guys a little idea, um, we've actually been riding bikes for well, well over 10 years now. Just, uh, you know, we like to get off the beaten path and take some dirt roads here and there and kind of explore, get to some neat spots. This was way before we ever had our channel. So, uh, in the last couple of years, we haven't ridden much. We've been, uh, well, we got into some new hobbies as well. Been really getting into canoeing, fishing, and coming out to this spot. But uh, we kind of missed riding, so this was a good opportunity to get out. Uh, oop, sorry, branch. 
So, you know, we might uh, be uh, riding it a little bit more going forward. It's not going to be it's not going to be the focus of our channel. We we just generally love anything having to do with the outdoors, and these bikes uh, really allow us to to get out there, find some new spots, and it's a fun way to travel. So I'm gonna I'm almost at the spring. Let's see what we got. Water for drinking and water for safety. Done. Are you the water boy? <laughs> Apparently, I am. Water mule. I haven't put this up since what? February? <laughs> yeah, we used it at our, our, our winter camping night. <laughs> And we went out to explore and find a spot with like backpacks that were way too heavy. Yeah. That was a fun night. That was great. Yeah. Cool camping spot. Yeah. You holding? Yep. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's a great little tent. It's so easy to put up. Yeah. Well, we need to do this first. Yeah? keeping the doors open for now just so that it makes it easier to put our gear in but uh, this time of the year especially as soon as that uh, sun is below the tree line we want to make sure we shut these out to try to keep the community out. can't tell you guys how uh, appreciative I am that we have this spot. Um, it belongs to my, my father. It's been in his family for a few generations and I'm so glad that he kept it. Uh, especially now where a lot of uh, opportunities are closed and let's, to be totally honest uh, we're not big fans of campground I, I, we've, we've done them for years and a lot of people have asked us before if we've ever had a, any issues with animals and while we've seen animals when we're camping we've never had any issues with them <laughs> the only time we've had issues while we were camping was other people yep. yeah. I mean, 99% of the people out there camping are great. They're awesome. They're, you know, they're conscientious. They think of their neighbors. But all you need is that 1% to totally ruin a, a good camping trip. So having this spot, ah, oh, man. Yeah, I know. It's really awesome. Yeah. And, and we have running water. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we're missing is plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> Camping, I don't have to go set this up on the ground somewhere or <laughs> on a tree to inflate it. Yeah, I do like a tent. Yeah. I do like a tent. Do you have your pump? Or? I do. Yeah. Hey, you're on my side. Sorry, sorry, I'm gonna fix it. Give me a second. <laughs> I know this is a bit excessive. A little bit, yeah. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to take air out of it later. <laughs> just so that the foam expands. Here. Dead me. Dead me. <laughs> Here we go, run. Two sleeping bags on the air pads. It's going to be really comfy in there.
I got it. Fill mine. Oh. That helps with the black wise too. Yeah. That was easy. Yep. Now we're cooking. And that's why I get excited when I see these little branches. <laughs> oh, the heat. Yeah. You're gonna dry your clothes now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo. What do you think? How are you doing? Yeah. It's so warm in here, folks. It's great. Ah, oh, spring. Puts a smile on your face. It really does. Wait till you have food in the spring. Yeah. That's going to be... No, I'm pretty food. hungry. Pretty hungry. We did bring a little um, little stove, a little pocket rocket there with a uh, propane, um, because uh, in the morning um, we won't know what the uh, regulations are with having a fire, so we'll be able to warm up our, yeah, our coffee in the morning. But... Um, so I'm happy that we're able to have a fire now. Mm. <laughs> Having had the restrictions all the way through uh, most of April, well, all of April, really. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it was fine. We still got to go out and enjoy ourselves, but uh, there's nothing like having a campfire. It's great. It's really great. Center was gonna want her seat cushion when she gets back, but for now, it's all mine. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, dang it! I'm supposed to be cooking a meal. <laughs> my, my moment didn't last very long. You picked the wrong moment. We could have slept in the shelter. There's no flies. Yeah. Oh, well, we never know, right? You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. When you get here, so. There we go. Them yeah, I might as well. I'm pretty hungry. We only have one burger each. So. Yeah, you know, they're probably going to be cooked before we can finish them. So. That's fine. We can move them to the side. I know it's just wieners, but <laughs> right now. Yeah. Mm. You know what we haven't eaten since before lunch. So. Before noon. Hmm. Oh. Not bad. Okay, so we're just waiting for the burgers there. Uh, I think Sandra decided that she was good. She, she, uh, she, so I'm just gonna have a double burger. It. No. No. <laughs> That's not how it's gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having to wait till past uh, 8 o'clock and then 9 for the coals to be ready, that uh, yeah. delays supper quite a bit. So we're, we're looking for those. While we're waiting for those, I figure I'd say hi to a good friend of mine. I know usually when I do these shout-outs uh, that I do two per video, we're just going to have one on this one. Uh, if you haven't had your shout-out yet, it is coming, so my apologies for the delay. So on this particular one, I want to say a big hello to my good friend, Matisse. 
Hi, Matthias. Hi, Matthias. I was talking to your dad, and he says that uh, you've been going through some some uh, some tough times, and uh, he says that you've been uh, soldiering on through very well. You know, he's really impressed, and uh, you know, I wanted to say a big hi. You know, you're a good friend, great guy. I miss you. I can't hang out. I can't wait to hang out with both you, your fr your brother Mayel, your mother Melanie, and your dad Maris. So I miss all you guys. We can't wait to see you guys again. We hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, there's still a lot more to come, but uh, just want to say a big hi. And I'm going to call mine done. Are you? Yeah. I am. I'm making the call. Wouldn't you want to have a burger like that? You can't. I just like. No, oh. look at the cheese. Oh, it's like, let me try. No. It's mine. Which, I don't know where to start. Let's start here. It's a burger, there's no side. Mm. Now I'm having fun. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. You weren't having fun before? I was, but now it's like fun on another level. <laughs> 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 too much fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> <laughs> the temperatures have really, really dropped, folks. Um, we're still uh, doing around 15, 15 to 20. We keep going between those temperatures uh, but uh, as soon as you step out it's chilly and uh, so I put my jacket back on and uh, mostly dry the sleeves are a bit wet but <laughs> not the end of the world it is keeping me a lot warmer and uh, oh log just tumbled there but it should be okay I'll go fix that um, I don't know if uh, what I'm about to mention next is a common thing um, I, I am going to give a warning to my fellow New Brunswickers out there. The June bugs are out. <laughs> so I don't know if everybody knows what a June bug is. Um, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's uh, basically a thumb size, not a cockroach, but it's, it's a bug. And all they seem to do is fly towards the light and fly into the faces of people <laughs> enjoying the outdoors during the late... May, early June period in our <laughs> neck of the woods. So, um, they're not, they're not great. They're kind of gross, but uh, they're out. If uh, they I'm don't, they don't sting or anything. They're just no. big and disgusting. Yeah, they're just kind of gross. <laughs> so anyway, fair warning. Um, I don't know. You guys, let me know. You, do you guys have June bugs in your area? Like I said, it's it's a, it's a gross bug. It doesn't do any harm. It's just gross. So. But yeah, the the fire is keeping us nice and warm. We're, we could have it a lot warmer, but we want to keep it manageable. Uh, we are going to put it out before we go to bed. We're not going to let it burn through the night because uh, we're not. We want to make sure that uh, while it is burning, that we're here to keep an eye on it. So yeah, I'm glad I put this jacket on. Although zippers busted. Um, <laughs> if there's any uh, motorcycle riders out there, don't buy a jacket at a trade show. You know. <laughs> Go to a proper shop. Um, the guy said, you know, if you have any problems with it, bring it back. He's never coming back. I mean, <laughs> it's a trade show. They tour different cities. So there you go. But anyway, shame, but what can you do? So, yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. Really glad we were able to get the bikes all the way down the camp. That's great. Yeah, we never did that before. No. It was neat. Yeah. So, uh that's that's great because that way you know when we're out riding even if uh, you know even if we don't spend the day here we can always drop in put up a tent for the night and uh, you know enjoy a, a nice free camping spot as uh, this neck of the woods where we're at there's a lot of trails that we can go out and explore which is awesome so um, and also not having to leave it outside the road you don't have to worry about something happening to them right so they're right with us which is great and that we're just gonna enjoy the fire for a little bit longer and I'm probably going to hit the sleep bags pretty soon. Yeah, probably not going to be a late night. Yeah. So, thanks a lot for joining us uh, this far, folks. Tomorrow we're going to get up and uh, probably uh, cook up some coffee. I did bring a little propane stove because uh, the fires, we can only have them uh, from 8 till 8. And when we're out camping, we 
tend to sleep in a little bit. <laughs> it's nice to just relax and not have to do anything. So, still, I think it's going to be a fun night's sleep. Yeah. Hopefully the wildlife leaves us alone. They usually do. Hopefully they do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good? Yeah, sounds good. Night, folks. Good night. Good morning everyone, another awesome night in the tent, that was long overdue, nice uh, warmish night, It did uh, the temperatures did drop quite a bit before we went to bed, mm -hmm. so I'm glad we had those uh, winter sleeping bags, and also um, when I looked at the uh, outside of the tent this morning we had a few mosquitoes buzzing around and all that, so I'm kind of happy that we used the tent and didn't sleep in the shelter after all. Yeah, they're still around now. Yeah, <laughs> mosquitoes and Mostly black flies there. They're not the black flies don't sting for some reason at this time of the year. They just want to land in your eyes. So. <laughs> it's just a bit of pain of in, in the neck, I guess, or the eyes. <laughs> so just uh, finished brewing up a pot of coffee and or a pot of water. Got our coffee. It's a little bit hot. I'm kind of impatient. No, it's not bad. It's good. Yeah, we did add a splash of. Uh, water at the end just to make it drinkable. Said you we'd be waiting for like fifteen minutes. So yeah, still a lot of fly this morning, but uh nice morning. Yeah. Not uh not too cold and not too warm. It's just perfect. Nice quiet and sunny. Mm. When uh We've been riding, like I said before, for a, a long time, but uh, um, about two or three years ago, we bought these communicators, and I really wish we had bought them before, because even though we haven't been riding in the last couple of years, um, it's really nice, because while we're riding, we can talk to each other, and you don't even... Sorry, it was a nice bird. He wanted to communicate, too. Uh, so, yeah, it's really nice, because, uh, you know, you put it on, you talk to each other, it's nice and, and clear which is awesome and it's it's really handy especially for the kind of riding we do we don't tend to have a set destination oftentimes we're just kind of let's go this way let's go that way so when you're doing last minute turns and all that it, it can be a bit surprising for the person riding in the back so this way you know I can say I'm gonna be turning you know turning right turning left or you know she says I'm pretty uncomfortable I need a break my <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck on the stump <laughs> yeah. those, those little bikes they don't have the big fancy uh, seats on no. them so every uh, around every 50 kilometers or something you have to take a break So, we finally made a route, folks. Uh, that was uh, a lot of fun. You guys are probably wondering why I've got my uh, Avengers, uh, failed Avengers suit on, but uh, <laughs> my uh, riding jacket, the zipper failed, which is fine. I always wear this armor anyway. I wear it under underneath. And uh, today is probably even warmer than yesterday, so it would have been, I would have been cooking underneath that jacket. Yeah. 
So Santa did great. That she did really <laughs> awesome out there. I hadn't been out in a long time, so yeah. really impressed. So this was great. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. We really, uh, really are so happy that you guys join us on these adventures. It makes it so much fun. So hope you guys join us on the next one. Hopefully it'll be soon, and we'll see you then. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. I'm down. <laughs> I'm not down, it's just the bike that's down. <sighs> Crap, I didn't think about this. About what? Where I'm gonna break down. Oh. I actually have my bike up again. Yeah. Got her. Nice.